Hey, what's going on everybody? Marvin here. Welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to break down how to make your first $10,000 in sales selling on Amazon. But before we get into that, just a quick word from our sponsor. Thank you, Shia. Powerful stuff. Powerful, powerful stuff. So I think a lot of people's first real financial goal when they're getting onto the Amazon FBA platform is to hit that $10,000 in sales a month. I know this was my first goal when I first jumped into Amazon FBA and it's a good goal to have, right? Because if you can consistently have a $10,000 sales a month, then you're considered a six figure earner because over the course of a year, you'll be at $120,000 in sales. And if $10,000 in sales isn't your goal, right off the bat, that's completely fine. But I think it's absolutely imperative that you do have some sort of goal in place, a clear path, a clear vision of where you want this business to go. And not only that, what you want this business to bring to you, right? Bring to your life. Because if you're just dabbling and you just wanna make a few dollars here and there, that's all you're ever really gonna make is a few dollars here and there. So if you wanna make this a legitimate business, which you absolutely have the opportunity to do so, then you need to have a clear vision in mind of where you want this business to go. Is it $10,000 a month? Is it 20, 50, $100,000 a month in sales? You need to know that vision for yourself and for your business so you are on the right path and you can reach it. Once you create that clear vision, you'll be one step closer to reaching those goals. And if you haven't really put much thought into creating a goal, then $10,000 in sales a month is a great goal to have. And luckily you've stumbled across this video where I'm gonna break it down in five easy steps for all you guys to follow along. All right, so let's get into step number one. You need to do this before you do absolutely anything else, okay? Step number one is the most important. And that's smashing that like button. <sighs> Jesus, it's becoming an everyday thing. All right, so now that you've powered through step number one, let's get into the real step number one, which is actually step number two in this case, and that is finding suppliers. The wholesale business model that we are all trying to strive for is different than a lot of the other business models on Amazon, specifically because private label and arbitrage, you're going to find those products. That's what you're looking for, right? You're looking for products to sell. With wholesale, you're looking more so for suppliers that have the products or brands that you're interested in selling. So we look for suppliers more so than we look for product. There are those few times that we look for products in order to find the supplier, but for the most part, we are sourcing suppliers, not as much products. Because with the wholesale business model, if you don't have a supplier, then you don't have products. And if you don't have products, then you don't have a business. And if you don't have a business, you're never hitting 10K in sales. So make sure you look for a good supplier that you can build a relationship with, and that's gonna grow your Amazon business. After you have found that supplier, you're gonna wanna go and open up a wholesale account with that supplier so then you can have access to those products that they are selling. And remember, we're looking for suppliers that have name brand products, products that we recognize, products that we wanna sell. And if you have absolutely no idea how to find those name brand suppliers, then I do have a video on the channel which I'll link right here showing you one of my methods of finding suppliers that you can utilize. All right, so step number three. So now that you have an active wholesale account open with that supplier that you do wanna work with, you're gonna to need to request an inventory list and you're gonna to need to request to be put on their email list. And you're gonna to wanna to ask if they have any deals going on, any closeouts, any specials that they may be offering currently. The reason you wanna do all of these other things on top of asking for an inventory list is because you wanna give yourself the absolute best chances possible for finding profitable products. Because some suppliers don't put everything on their list. Some suppliers like to send products out through their emails, or some suppliers run specials or they run deals and they have good margins on those products. So if you just ask for an inventory list, they aren't gonna put you on their email list. So if they have golden products on that email list, you're never gonna see them. For example, I have a supplier who's told me we hardly put anything on our list. We send it out. We do have some products on our list, but that isn't all of our inventory. Their lists are absolutely terrible. I'm not gonna lie. But when they send those emails out once a week, most of the time they're golden. They're golden emails that have huge margins. So that is why it's important to not only get an inventory list, but get on their email list and then ask if they have any specials, any deals going on currently that you can take advantage of. So now you have found a supplier, you have found the products that you wanna sell, well then you need to go and do step number four now, which is adding products to your inventory within Seller Central. You're gonna go into your Seller Central account and you're gonna add these products that you wanna sell. Mainly because if you don't add them, then you can't create a shipping plan. If you can't create a shipping plan, then you can't send them in. And then the second reason is you're gonna to wanna to know if you're gonna be gated in the category or in the brand. If you're gated in the brand, it's no big deal. We work with authorized suppliers whose invoices work for getting ungated 100% of the time. So if you're gated in let's say Xbox, then you're just gonna to go to your supplier and ask for the invoice 
or they're already going to provide you with that invoice and you just provide that to Amazon and you're good to go. Now, an important thing to remember about this step and about the wholesale business model is that we aren't creating a listing. We aren't running PPC. We aren't doing keyword research. We aren't taking photos. We aren't doing any of that. We are just jumping onto the existing listing that is already live and we're just going to sell under that exact same listing. If you have any sort of experience with arbitrage, then this is the exact same process. You just go to the listing, you take the ASIN, you take the UPC code, you plug it into your Seller Central account, you add that product to your inventory, and then you create a shipping plan. Which leads us into step number five, which is creating a shipping plan and placing your first order. Now, when you are creating your shipping plan, you are gonna need the weights and dimensions from your supplier of the contents of your shipment. Once you get those weights and dimensions, you'll be able to plug them into your shipping plan within Amazon Seller Central. I recommend you guys use Amazon's partnered carriers, which are UPS and FedEx, because then your shipping prices will be heavily discounted. After you plug all that in, you will download your shipping labels and send them to to your supplier. Once your supplier gets them, they're gonna ship it directly to Amazon and Amazon's gonna prep everything and make it available for sale. We are never gonna see or touch any of the inventory that we are purchasing. I mean, unless you want to, but why would you want to? It's just gonna be more work for you to do. After you've done this, you're pretty much done. You just wait for Amazon to process the shipment and make it available for sale. And then once the products are live, you can just monitor price as you see fit. If you need to increase the price, if you need to lower the price, whatever the case may be, that's all you really need to do at that point. But that's it. That is the process you need to follow in order to get your first $10,000 in sales selling on Amazon. You just rinse and repeat this process and you guys are gonna get there in no time. So like I said, I broke this down into five steps, which was technically four steps. And as you can see, the wholesale business model is very simple, but simplicity doesn't mean it comes with no effort, with no time investment in order to get this up and running. You still have to know what to do. You still have to put in the work in order to get everything up and going. But follow these steps and you guys are gonna smash through all of those financial goals you're trying to reach. And if you guys wanna speed up your learning curve and you want me to mentor you and guide you the right direction so you can avoid all of the costly mistakes that newbies make when they don't really know which direction to go, I know I made a lot of those mistakes, then I do have a course linked down below. It's the first link in the description, so check it out and I will mentor you. You can message me as much as you want and I'll teach you everything that you need to know from step one to the absolute end step. And if you guys don't know how to find brand name suppliers, then you're gonna to wanna to check out the video on the screen where I break all that down. I'll see you guys in the next video.